authentic. Transformational. Personal. Trustworthy. Strategic. I think it's extremely important to have a great leader when we're transitioning. Um, it brings new ideas, he's developing us. He, re he really let it, lets us expand our own horizons and, and go after what our dreams are, what our innovations are, and encourages that and lets us, lets us take risks. Um, we know that we've got Sean's support, we've, he's got our back. Uh, the rest of the team has our back and, and that allows us to reach out. It's great to work with Sean. Um, he's always inspiring me, he inspires our team. Uh, he's a very people person and it, it, he truly values people. Uh, we use that in our slogan, our product is steel, our strength is people. And Sean really uh, advocates that. My initial jobs at the FASCO were in, in the manufacturing arena. And I like to think of that as, uh, as the Japanese call it, the Gemba, which is the real place, the place where value is created. So I started literally on the shop floor in the galvanizing division. Uh, worked my way up to be a foreman of a number of galvanizing lines. And I think that, uh, as I reflect back, that grounded me on, on just what is the, the strength of DeFasco and, and our people that you know, manufacture our products day in and day out. DeFasco works very strongly on, on teamwork and so collaboration. And I don't want to confuse collaboration with consensus. We're not a consensus organization. We still have leadership and, and decisions, that, tough decisions that need to be made but it's done collaboratively, and I think that's the real value of, of our teaming at the FASCO. I have a very, very strong affiliation with the university and, and a very, very strong affiliation with the Faculty of Engineering, particularly. <laughs> the engineering uh, students always have, have probably a little bit more fun than, than they should. Uh, uh, nothing illicit, but... Uh, uh, you know, I think just the, just the relationships with some of the professors, and, and I'll, I'll hearken back to uh, two professors that uh, started when I was in third year engineering. Uh, David Wilkinson and Gord Irons began their professorship career at, at McMaster, and uh, Gord just recently retired, and David is now, was the Dean of Engineering, is now the Provost of the University. So uh, I knew David and Gord uh, when they were young and I was young, so good relationship there. I'm privileged to sit on the McMaster Board of Governors, so I'm, I'm learning about the, the workings, the insides, if you like, of the institution of, 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 of the University of McMaster, and just understanding, uh, really uh, getting a grip on what its power is as a global, global leader in a, in a research-intensive university. And then I look at the FASCO, and you know, although we're a steelmaker, we think of ourselves as a technology company. So marrying up a global leader, an academic institution like McMaster, world-renowned, with a first-class, world-renowned steelmaking facility like DeFasco is really where the partnership begins. Sean is a living bridge between uh, uh, ArcelorMittal, DeFasco and the university. He, he exemplifies, I think, the strengths of both of those organizations. We certainly see him as uh, a, a very fine exemplar of uh, the kind of, of students we've, we've educated over the years and he's, he's gone on to assume a role in the life of this company that is uh, all that the university would wish for him. So uh, we feel very grateful in fact at this stage to be tied to ArcelorMittal de Fasco by this, this living connection. And the thing about John is he is uh, he's, uh, creative, he's imaginative and he understands the needs of both organizations and is able to bring us together on issues that really matter and that are mutually beneficial.